Good afternoon. Thank you very much for coming out and covering this important case. We appreciate your assistance in asking the public for a phone call today. One phone call is worth an increased reward. One phone call can help us solve this case. One phone call will find justice. I'm going to turn it immediately over to Sergeant Padilla of the Houston Police Department, who will announce the increased cash reward that Crime Stoppers and private sources are offering in this case. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is uh, uh, J.C. Padilla, last name is spelled P-A-D-I-L-L-A, -L -L -A. and uh, like Catherine said, I'm a sergeant assigned to the uh, Houston Police Department's uh, Homicide Division. Uh, I'm joined by uh, the victim's family and also uh, my partner uh, to my right, uh, Detective Rick Bolton. Uh, we're here to provide an update uh, to you regarding the homicide investigation of Gallery uh, Bagrazade, uh, who, as you all know, uh, was shot to death as she returned home uh, just uh, before midnight on uh, Sunday, January the 15th of uh, this year. Uh, just to kind of refresh uh, everyone's memory, I'm sure you all have the uh, sequence of events uh, down. Um, uh, Gallery uh, was returning home uh, from her uh, boyfriend's uh, residence uh, when she was gunned down just uh, down uh, the street from where she lives. Um, at this point, uh, we are still actively, aggressively investigating uh, the case, interviewing uh, friends and acquaintances and people that may have information uh, that may help us uh, solve this investigation. At this point, th there's no motives in the shooting and uh, we are considering everything and are not ruling out anything at this time. Um, you know, the more and more that we uh, talk to people and, and, and investigate the case, uh, the more we realize uh, that we need the community's uh, help in solving uh, this investigation. Uh, we've done it in the past. Crime Stoppers is, is very successful, uh, and we can do it again, but we need the, the public's help uh, in, in order to be able to do that. Uh, I just want to say that our deepest condolences go out to the family. Uh, of course, during this difficult time, uh, they have been extraordinarily uh, patient, uh, cooperative, and uh, uh, extremely uh, helpful. Uh, I think you would agree with me that uh, this family uh, deserves <coughs> justice. And uh, uh, therefore, like Catherine was saying, we're here to announce the, that the reward for the information leading to the arrest of the person and or persons uh, responsible for Gallery Bagarzade has been increased to uh, $200,000. Uh, this is from uh, Crime Stoppers and uh, private sources. We hope that uh, this significant amount uh, in the reward will help uh, generate public support uh, for the capture of the person or persons that are responsible for uh, taking the life of this young woman. And we're hoping that, that someone uh, can call us and with information uh, so that we can uh, be able to find and locate uh, and identify uh, those that are responsible. And since uh, we depend on the public support and helping the police department solve these violent, senseless crimes. All the information that we uh, can gather from our citizens is valuable and helpful in bringing uh, Gallery's killer to justice. Anyone who has information concerning this senseless crime is asked to call Crime Stoppers. Uh, crime Stoppers, uh, I just want to make it clear, is not part of the Houston Police Department. Uh, we work very closely with them, but um, all sources of information uh, remain completely anonymous. Uh, we need someone uh, courageous to step forward and to do the right thing uh, and call. And if they're afraid to call, have somebody call for you. Uh, again, you know, you will remain completely anonymous. And lastly, we want to thank the public uh, for their support. Uh, together we can make and will uh, make a difference in the city of Houston. Thank you. Yeah, one of the other things that, that we're also doing is releasing a, a crime scene photograph. Uh, this is a photograph of uh, what happened. It shows uh, the victim's uh, vehicle, uh, which belonged to her father, a Nissan Altima, uh, 
uh, crashing into a garage. And as you all know, uh, uh, this was not at her home. The occupants of that particular townhome were not uh, at home when this took place. So we're just kind of releasing this, kind of give you our perspective of uh, what happened uh, that night. T tell us about that car, the incident. How, how did that happen? I mean, tell us a little bit about what led to Again, that picture. Uh, the victim was returning home and uh, she was shot as she was making a right hand turn. Uh, the victim was shot uh, from the passenger side of the vehicle. Uh, uh, the vehicle uh, then rolled into the garage. What time of night, refresh us on what time of night, what street she would have been turning from to? Or? Yes, uh, the incident took place over in the 800 block of Augusta Drive uh, near the Galleria. Uh, this happened Sunday evening uh, after uh, around 11.30, approximately 11.30 uh, that evening. And that spot was how far from where she was headed? Uh, this actually happened uh, on the same property of where she lived. Now, are there any other leads that uh, get you all closer to a motive, or do you think it's something random, or maybe someone that knew her? Yeah, you know, like I like I mentioned, uh, we don't have any motives. Uh, that's what makes it uh, much more difficult. We do not have. Uh, anybody identified, developed uh, as a possible suspect, um, but we're, like I said, we're not ruling anybody out, uh, we're not eliminating anybody, um, anything's possible, and that's what makes this case uh, a mystery. We, we don't have uh, a lot of the answers that we would like to have uh, so that we could focus and go in a direction that could lead us to a, a suspect or suspects. On behalf of my family, I would like to thank HPD and Housekeepers and uh, media uh, for all of your uh, continuous um, uh, interest in our case. And uh, I, I want to ask you to uh, please do your best shot and cover this. So it just there should be somebody out there, just one person at least knows besides whoever did this. So I, I, I want to sincerely just ask you to help us to bring our family to closure. And um, it's been four months um, since my sister was senselessly murdered behind our home. And um, these past long four months have been unimaginably um, hard on all of us. We all feel lost and incomplete without my sister during this very hard period of time. Um, we've been hopeful that her killer will be found quickly. Unfortunately, the circumstances of the case and how it happened and it was just it wasn't anywhere um, at a bar or somewhere like they can um, in, a, in a bad area or um, it's just it just and it just it was next to home and um, um, she was just coming home from a study session from a, a, a friend's house and um, um, this makes this case um, very hard on HPD and uh, that's why we need um, whoever has any information just step forward and uh, like uh, Sergeant Pedio mentioned, I want to emphasize uh, Crime Stoppers, it's a private organization, it has nothing to do with HPD, all the phone calls are anonymous, there's no caller ID and um, the anonymity will be guaranteed. So please um, just step forward, just do the right thing and we want only justice. Um, as a community, we should all be outraged at the loss of a young and talented person who would have been an asset to the city. Um, we would all stop and ask ourselves why. Um, why this happened to a, to a person like my sister. She, she always been involved in the community. She did a lot of volunteering, just uh, always wanted good things for the society and for people. And uh, now this happened to our family, it can happen to anybody. So um, we need to take these people off the street. There's, uh, 
very huge amount of reward and just do the right thing uh, for the community, for our family, for everybody. Um, uh, we should all do our share to prevent such crimes from happening and join forces to bring justice for my sister. Um, as I mentioned, we only want justice and uh, um, we can't do this without your help. If um, you hear anything, just, I mean anything, even a small piece of information, uh, it would help the investigators on this case. Um, uh, for your convenience, the family has created a website. It's, uh, it's called onlyjustice.org. It's very simple to memorize and we want you to um, cover this and make sure people would know. In the website, there is a link to Crime Stoppers. Uh, they can submit tip anonymously again to Crime Stoppers. Uh, they could contact us, send a message if they want, anybody has anything uh, to say. And um, um, that's it. Just, uh, as, like I said, only justice.org. Crime Stoppers and private sources are offering up to $200,000 cash reward in this case for information that leads to the arrest or the filing of felony charges. This is the largest cash reward, not just in Crime Stoppers history here in Houston, but in Texas and in the nation. We remind you that rewards of this size and type work. We remind you of the case several years ago, the Clear Lake murders, then the largest cash reward ever paid for a Crime Stoppers tip that solved the case. $100,000 was offered in that case back in 2006 when the Clear Lake murders, the murders of four young people, were solved three years after the offense was committed. In this case, we are offering up to $200,000. We know that someone in the community knows who committed this crime. And we are telling you that today, one phone call with one name identifying the shooter that results in an arrest is worth up to $200,000. We remind you that every phone call is confidential. And Crime Stoppers accomplishes that by using code words. There are code numbers and code words for every tipster that calls in. So you can know that it is a completely anonymous and confidential system. We remind you that wherever you are or wherever the offender is, you can call Crime Stoppers at 713-222-TIPS and report that information and be eligible for the cash reward. We remind you that even if the person who committed this heinous offense is no longer here within the jurisdiction of Harris County, you can still call with that information. If it results in an arrest, you will be eligible for the cash reward. And Crime Stoppers has many times in the past reached across state lines, reached across country lines, reached around the world to arrest those who have committed offenses here in our jurisdiction. We remind you that we have a language line called Interpretalk, that if anyone has a concern about being able to communicate with the Crime Stoppers tip line, you can call Crime Stoppers and make a report in any language. We remind you that this, the largest cash reward in the history of Crime Stoppers, is offered today because this case is such a mystery, because we don't know what the motive is. As Sergeant Padilla told you, we don't have a specific tip that points to a motive that can solve this case. This mystery deserves justice. We are looking for justice today. Justice for this wonderful family who misses their daughter, their sister. Justice for Galore, for her coworkers, her friends who cared about her so deeply. Today is the day to help this family know that the person who committed this offense will be held responsible. And today is the day that for the first person who gives us that information, the cash reward is up to $200,000 when an arrest results.